book draws on John's uh, extraordinary accomplishments uh, as one of America's finest warrior scholars. He was a 1988 graduate of West Point. He went on to Oxford where his dis doctoral dissertation on counterinsurgency uh, was later published as uh, Learning to Eat Soup with a Knife. Uh, he served as an Army tank commander in the first Gulf War and returned to Iraq with the 1st Infantry Division after the 2003 invasion. He was tapped to work at the Pentagon for Deputy Secretary of Defense Paul Wolfowitz and then by General David Petraeus, uh, with whom he wrote the now legendary counterinsurgency field manual. You write in this book um, that we are likely going to be for some time in an age of unsatisfying wars. What do you mean and why do you think that? So the, the wars I've fought since Desert Storm, um, which was really the genesis of, of this book, of my military service, of my thinking about warfare. I came of age um, when the Cold War was still hot, when there was still a gap in Fulda, when, when the Soviet Union was still a threat. And, and, and uh, it was while I was studying at Oxford the first time that the Berlin Wall came down and, and peace broke out all over the world. And then Saddam Hussein invaded Iraq and maybe peace hadn't quite broken out. And, and I, I participated in Desert Storm, which, which may be the last of the great tank battles. And, and it was a, 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 an unsettling, a fascinating, a, an invigorating experience to be young and to participate in that kind of war. But it, it also seemed to me, between the end of the Soviet Union and, and the very rapid demise of the fourth largest army in the world at the hands of the American military with some allied uh, help, it, it seemed to me to indicate a, a real watershed in the history of conflict. That is no one in their right mind would take on the United States again in conventional frontal combat, given what they'd just seen. So uh, I believed that, that future enemies of the United States would look at how the Vietnamese, the North Vietnamese, the Viet Cong had taken us on, not at, at how uh, the Iraqi army had, had um, so unsuccessfully attempted to challenge American military might.